M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. I just thought I'd show you what I'm up to today and what I'm using this morning. So on the left, we've got the Malahit DSP2. This is pretty much an all band receiver that does decode CW and FTA. Nice waterfall screen, as you can see. Got a stand on the back that everyone says I put on backwards, but that's the way I like using it. A couple of antenna inputs. The, also, the antenna can send out power to power an amplified sort of antenna. And it has one that's called HIZ, which I believe means you can use those short antennas, your telescopic antennas, rubber ducks, ETC. And it, it changes the ohm because the middle connector is 50 ohm. And, you know, I can just tap this like so. Type in 70 SEMS or air band, marine band, you name it. And it will go to it. And if there's activity there, it will work. I just think they're excellent. Lots of menus to tinker with if you want to. Uh, quite a lot of learning to do on it, but you can just type in the frequency. Hit that radio twice and brings you back. Now in the middle, we've got my E91, which is the very same case as the new M6 R Finder, but it's you know it obviously hasn't got R Finder on it. You need to get an R Finder device for that. But I really like it. I've had it for several months now. I'm using it on Droid Star, but you can use it on Echo Link, all that kind of stuff. Go back to your home page. Zello, Echo Link. Let's go to Zello. And then we've got the FT70 here, which is a two two meter seventy centimeter handheld, quite wide band receiver. Yes, air band, but it does have C4 FM, so you can use it with a hotspot or you can use it with a C4 FM repeater, and it works really well. And it's got one of the best speakers in this device. Not the best battery, I don't know what that noise is. Oh, I can see that someone's transmitted, but in the wrong mode. <laughs> FM. And that's 70 centimeters straight from HF. We get the squelch up on this, that's better. And it goes red here when you've, you enable the squelch in audio. And you just enable it there. And if I want, I could type in airband. Strong one for me is what, but the antenna we've got on isn't an airband antenna. It's the zero megahertz. There you are. We're on airband mode. Is it? Yeah, it's already found automatically detected that we're going to use AM. Now, if I was on my hotspot on the FT70, I could hold down, I think it's F, then AMS. It's been a while since I've done that, and I'll be on using my hotspot. And I highly recommend you get yourself a hotspot. I've got one here. They just work really well. I'm going to be testing that shortly. That's the Euro node. Testing that shortly on C4FM. And, you know, your classic hotspot. There's your Pi Zero at the bottom. Let me show you what goes on top what they call an MMDVM hat. You can buy these hats for about £25. Nowadays, Pi Zeros have come down in price. You put them together, add your SD card with your image that's going to run Pi Star for you, and away you go. That This one's actually set up to work on M17. If you look here, look, M17. If I had an M17 radio, it would work. If we go to configuration... Look at the tabs. I've got an M17 tab because I've added a patch and updated it. And I've tested it as well. It's definitely working great. So thanks for watching my channel. Let's go to zero, see if anyone spoke. Go to history. Looks like we're, that channel's turned off. Think about Zello. It, it records everything that happens, which is pretty cool. There you go. We'll go to history. I'm not sure why that was off. And um, we'll put something on. There you go. Like so, that's Zello, and then we were talking about Echo Link and TeamSpeak. This one has got a, an actual proper radio PTT in it. As long as I put in the the right one, I 
I think that's the Bluetooth programming app, which I use on on TID radio type devices, if I remember right. And what's the other one? Radtel. Might dig it out and have a little go. It's on the Radtel 490 or the Zhuangpai. It's an app there that I can run with my Yesu radios. Works well after configuration. 817 Companion, oh, I haven't used that for a while. Try these apps out and then I forget. Oh, GPS. That's a free one. Just sees all your GPS, see yeah, what kind of signal you're getting. Takes a while to kick in. And so on. There's my PTT. That's the actual PTT app there. If we go to Hubnet, should receive that. With a bit of luck. I need to switch to Hubnet first. Doesn't really want to at the moment. But anyway, I thought I'd show you what I'm up to. Let's go back to 7.1 megahertz. Turn up the volume. Just push it down. There's volume there. And then you just tune, make sure we're in LSB. As well, and um, I do not know where this one comes from. So it's going to be the big year for us both. Um, been together nearly 20 years, and the way from the rings on the fingers. Not the best signal in today. Bye for now, 7-3.